Well, hello there, my friends. I am Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to talk about a card making fiesta that I've just completed. Oh my gosh, craziness. I had so many colored images that I had made for the favorite things classes that just released. I promised I was going to make them into cards, and so I did. And I did so using some crazy funky folds, as you're seeing. And let's talk about that, all right? If you're anything like me, you love a good funky fold, interactive, fun card. I love getting them in the mail. I love things that have a tab that you pull or a flap that you open or something other than a folded piece of cardstock. I love getting those in the mail. I will play with the mechanism till it falls apart. So fair warning, if you don't want it to fall apart, don't send it to me because I'm like a little kid with them. But I don't really make those kind of cards anymore. I used to. I used to have all the stuff to do it with. But when I started focusing more on my art side, I got rid of a bunch of that other stuff. I just didn't have room for everything, which means I haven't been able to make like crazy fun cards. And a lot of mine are just panel cards and they're nice panel cards because my coloring is good. And by panel cards, I mean something with either a single image that I've drawn or a stamp or something. And it can have a scene or it can just be the image itself. But I really want all of that beautiful coloring that I spend all my time on to be the focus. I don't want a whole lot more going on in it, but I want something for some cards that's going to be a little bit fancier. And for years now, I guess, I've been thinking I need to put together some templates, just gather them from wherever they are or adapt from ones that are out there that don't really work for me and put some together that are going to work from my kind of cards. And if you make these kind of cards like I do, this might be helpful. I have put together a funky fold card class. And that class is over at Art Venture. It's not at Art Dash Classes, it's at Art Venture. And in that class, I'll show you how to make five different templates. Some of them have both a horizontal and vertical versions. And I give you all the measurements and everything. And in each one of those templates, I have used the template four times and I did four different adaptations of the template within that. You know, what if you put the image on this part rather than on that part? What if you attach it here rather than there? What if you put a different base on it, etc. And so, you know, it's a fun little class where you can use any image you've got. There's no coloring in the class itself. It's just about the engineering. And you can use whatever colors, whatever supplies. You can embellish as you desire. But I'll give you some ideas on how I did with these cards. And I'll show you all the cards in a few minutes. And, you know, kind of show you how they open and flip flap and all that good stuff. If you're interested in the coloring of these images, these are all from the Favorite Things classes that launched a couple weeks ago. And they are all in blue colors because... I was working on them right when the war started in Israel. And between that and my heart going out to the people who were still at war in Ukraine, where the colors are blue and yellow, I thought blue and white would be really great as a little art therapy for myself. But I realized that I don't have any blue cardstock or blue pattern paper to make my funky fold cards with. So I had to order some in. It took me a while. That's why the Funky Fold Card class didn't come out at the same time as Favorite Things. But the Favorite Things classes are in four mediums. There's uh, watercolor, alcohol marker, colored pencil, and gouache. And within each class, there's five lessons, and you get all the images. So the classes are a little more expensive than a normal mini class, but you get all the images. And not only do you get them four up, so you can color four of them in one go and get four cards made, but you can also, you have the full JPEG, so you can make it as big or as small as you want and adapt it for whatever you want your design to be. And so those are all over on one page at Art Dash Classes on the holiday page, a brand new holiday page with all the holiday and winter classes in one spot. And I will link you to that in the doobly-doo. 
which is the area down below this video, because I know some people haven't heard me say the doobly-doo before, so that is where the links will be. So that class is at art-classes. The funky fold is over at Art Venture, and it's free to get into Art Venture, become a member of one of our thousands of people that are there, share your work and all that sort of thing, and then sign up for the class. Now, the stuff I used was cardstock. I finally had ordered some blue cardstock from Lawn One. I love their box. It just makes me feel super special. Even if they send it to everybody, I feel like this one is from me. You're going to need some kind of bone folder and scoring board. I recommend a big one just because some of these pieces of paper are going to be a little larger. So 12 by 12 is helpful, but you can kind of cobble together something with your small one if you need to. And then some adhesive. I used some dimensional adhesive as well as a tape runner. This is my old, old red was her name during Operation Right Home Days. She's still kicking. I added some ribbon to a few of mine and you'll need some scissors to cut it with, some hole punchers to attach it with, etc. if you want to use it, but no requirement to use it. The misties are for stamping sentiments because I just drew the pictures. I didn't have any sentiments on them. And I grabbed a bunch of stamps from my holiday stash. Just happened to grab the Trinity and the Colorado Craft, which are the more recent ones. They just happen to be on top. So you can use whatever sentiments you like. And then we've got some hole punchers because I didn't feel like getting out all the dies and everything. I just wanted to sit at my desk and just get through all the cards and use those. I did have to get some pattern paper because I don't keep pattern paper around anymore either. And I got some blue stuff that will go with the blue card bases that I got from Lawn Fawn. And then you'll need a knife of some kind, either a X-Acto blade or fingertip knife or something like I'll be using. So the favorite things, holiday cards are all in those, those four different mediums. And I've broken up the showing of the cards by which class they're in those images. So the alcohol markers has these five images in them. And then this is what I did with them to turn them into cards. So you can see there's like little things that flip out and belly bands and different designs like that. And they're just lots of fun for these classes. And in each one of them, I'm also doing something a little extra special fun too throughout October and November. There's been a couple of them already that's happened. I am doing some Zoom calls with people at Art Venture, and I'm taking an image from one of these classes, say the alcohol marker class, and I'm going to color it in colored pencil, or I'm going to take one some something from the watercolor class and color it in alcohol markers and that sort of thing. So I'm doing that once a week. And if you would like to join one of those calls, you can go to Art Venture and just look in the events tab throughout November because I'll be doing more of them. And if you want to see the past ones, there is a class where I'm collecting all of these in one place. So if you want to sit through a bunch of Zoom calls, it's just a couple of bucks for that. But if you catch it within a week of when the Zoom goes live, then they're free for the replay for the first week. If you're math challenged like I am, when I became an artist, my art teacher said there would be no math. She lied because there's math in everything. However, I want you to know that these are not those templates that require you to measure everything down to an eighth inch or a sixteenth or a thirty-second of an inch. No. The smallest measurement that I'm going to be giving you is a quarter of an inch. That's it. It's not going to be these tiny measurements. Now, if you're going to add panels, if you're going to decorate with pattern paper panels, then you'll have to do your own measurements to figure that out, what you want it to look like. Do you want to have a wider border or a thinner border and figure that out for yourself? I'll give you my measurements for my main image panels and, and the big elements but I'm not going to give you all the little tiny bits because it really depends on what you want yours to look like. But the main ones, like when I start measuring things off, I'm like, okay, we're going to cut the paper down to this. So the measurements can be two and four and eight and 10. We're not, we're not going any smaller than we have to, unless it's absolutely necessary. And even that is going to go only down to like a quarter of an inch type of measurement because I don't want to mess with that. 
But these cards were a lot of fun to make. And even by the time I made the third or fourth one in each one of these, I didn't have to look back at my paper anymore to see what my notes said about what the size was for my scores because they were so simple that it kind of just landed in my head and I could just make, you know, the third and fourth one without following like super literal instructions anymore. So that was a good thing. And you may find the same as well. There's no date for when you have to watch the videos by, and you also can revisit as many times as you like. The favorite things classes are linked down below in the holiday class page. So you can see all of the wintry offerings in one spot. And then on Art Venture, there's a Funky Folds class that should be in the list of classes in the menu on the left hand side. However, if you're on Apple devices, it might take them a few days to get that approved. So you can buy it on the web and you can still see it on your Apple device. There's gonna be a whole post there about why that is. So look for that if you're signing up right away, but otherwise it should be in that menu on the left-hand side. Then there is also a swap that we're doing right now. If you would like to join in, the deadline is coming up right away, October 31st to sign up and everything has to be to your recipient by November 12th to 18th, so get on it. And then there's also the Zoom colorings. Go check the events tab to see when the next one is. All right, that is it for me. Get out there and create something every day, and I will see you again in my next video. So have a great week. Ta-ta for now.